So, um, something that just came to mind um, was this title just popped into my mind, um, Secretly Insecure. Now, when I say secretly insecure, um, I'm coming from a standpoint of what I touched on in my recent video that I just uploaded. Um, women who can't give another woman a compliment. And I'm talking about every time they see another woman, if her hair is different, if it's um, her nails are different, if she's natural, if she's permed, if she's light skin, if she's dark skin, if she dresses, you know, retro or, you know, she has a more urban style, um, a more classic style, a more minimalist style. Um, and when women see these things, I've come to learn that a lot of times when you initially want to pinpoint what you think is negative about that person it's really saying so much more about you um just because why are you automatically going there like why are you going there on that person is it because you want to deflect from the fact that maybe you are not brave enough to admit to yourself and to others that right now where you're at in your life you aren't in a place to be brazen when it comes to the ideas you have here. So you may want to dress a certain way, but because you're afraid of what people are going to say, you're not going to do it. Or you may want to go natural, but you're afraid of what people are going to say, so you might not do it. Or you may be natural and you may want to just go slap some creamy crack in your head, but you're not going to do it because you're afraid of what people are going to say. So what I'm saying is don't be secretly insecure if when you go to bed at night, before you go to bed at night and you really think to yourself like, what am I saying about myself when I down the next woman? And you come to a place where you're like, okay, well, there are some things that I, I don't feel good about myself. That's the first step. The first step is to identify that you are not where you want to be. So now what you need to do um, is to just work on bettering yourself so that you can be happy. Because when, you, when you're happy with yourself, it's much easier to celebrate someone else's happiness and their accomplishments. So that's my biggest thing, like... I just want to encourage other women to celebrate other women and stop being so negative, stop being so um, angry, stop being so bitter. Um, and it's a classic phrase, but just stop hating. 